So this is a lovely three bedroom, two and a half bath, um, 2000 square feet, a good sized backyard. Um, are you guys a gay couple, friends? What? No, we're obviously friends. We're not together, right? No, dude, what? All right, be in denial. So what do you guys think? Yeah, I'm sold, what about you? Hmm, not bad at all. Not bad at all, oh my God, what is that? According to Zillow, that is the gateway to Hell House. Wow. Did a screamo band used to live there? I'm gonna pretend like you didn't just ask me that. Honestly, I kinda like it. Yeah, me too. It sort of feels like it's calling to me, you know? That's cause it's literally actually calling out to you. Like, pretty loud in fact. Nothing? Really? You're gonna play that game? Okay, you know what? Screw it. Let's check it out. Dude, what is with this real estate agent? I think he's paraplegic. Are you sure that's the right word? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. <sighs> what am I doing here? Is that one of those sheds in the back? Yep, there's a goddamn shed in the back. Wow, this place is beautiful up close. Much worse, actually. Hopefully they have one of those cellar doors that open up like this out of the ground. Why would you want one of those? Yep, they got the goddamn cellar doors too. <laughs> If they just had a tire swing, it'd be perfect. Oh my god, a tire swing. No way, I freaking love those. Okay, who the hell wrote this skit? Is there supposed to be an overcast today? Nope, that just hovers above this house all the time. No red flags yet. Can I see the inside? Uh, no. It's already 2.30 and I'm already on my second pair of underwear. Anyways, I got the house pulled up and, um, newsflash, it's got some problems. Okay, like what? Well, for starters, there's been several murders in the house. Oh. Well, like, how many murders? I feel like any number of murders would qualify as too many murders. An exact number would be ideal, thanks. Everyone. So like five, six, 47 murders. But over like how long though? Yeah, cause like over like a hundred years, that wouldn't be that bad, right? One death per every two years of residence. And if it happened in clusters, it would further minimize the probability of imminent death. Good point. No, wait, let me get my calculator. Would you guys like shut the f up? You're right, this guy is paraplegic. I actually looked up the term shortly after we talked earlier and it did not at all mean what I thought it meant. Guys, no one's been on this house in two decades. Does that bother either of you? Sounds like people are scared of a good deal. Yeah, don't save me too much money. Whatever will I do with all this leftover cash? My Instagram bio says real estate investor, so. Okay, let's move on. Uh, okay, this should bother you. Everything in the house has been left exactly as it was since the last murder. Sweet, free furniture. There's fresh blood stains on the walls every morning. I'm actually a clean freak, so that wouldn't be a problem. Creepy dolls in every room. Sweet, free dolls. Do you even play with dolls? Yeah, next point, please. A guy who overstayed his lease now lives in the basement and kills people with chainsaws. Actually, can I stop you right there? Finally, someone with some common sense. What's your question? Is he gonna help split the mortgage? Cause that'd be great. All right, how about we play a game? I'm gonna propose a scary scenario and you guys are gonna tell me what you would do. All right, yeah, I can do that. You hear footsteps in the attic. What's the move? Well, first thing we should do is split up. Wrong, nope, never do that. So that we can cover more ground. How are you gonna split up if you're both going to the attic? You know what? Don't even answer that. How about this? You start seeing supernatural things around the house and you do not. How do we deal with it? Well, obviously I'd keep it to myself so I don't sound crazy. Nope. And then see a psychiatrist and hope it's all in my head. How are y'all alive? Like surely these decision making skills have translated to other facets of your life. Is that the next question or is that separate from the initial line of questioning? All right, final scenario. You're both aware that there's ghosts in the house. It's getting progressively worse each night. What's the plan? This should be a very straightforward answer. Oh, don't worry. I know exactly what I would do. First, I'll set up surveillance cameras. Oh my god. Because we all know that ghosts won't harm us if they know they're on film. Nope, incorrect. Ghosts have never done that. And then I'll just keep the house and live completely unharmed. And congratulations, you're murdered. Want to know the correct answer? You move. That's what you do. That's what you should always do. There is no other answer. Well, that just seems like overkill. That's it. I'm getting the hell out of here. I give you guys two, three days tops. And honestly, I hope it's sooner. Oh, and by the way, there's a demon standing right behind you. You, you're not gonna look. We don't see it. Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs>